Hi everybody, it's Julie. It's Friday. Yay! And today is our mini challenge in the challenge. And I might not be here, but we're still going to have our premiere and our mini challenge in the challenge. So, what you're going to want to have is you're going to want to have a large file card. You can make a large file card if you don't have one. Um, the dimensions are sort of <laughs> they are okay without the tab it's five by eight okay so five by eight plus the tab you can um, cut your tab out and have a tab you can add a tab you you do need to have a tab of some sort okay um you need two pieces of fabric and you need your ready rolls okay so your ready rolls from the april challenge and we are going to use our ready rolls in three ways on our file index card you know i do like to do um, if I have two pages, sometimes I'll glue them together and I like to have a large card to go in that two pages and so that's what we're making today. So I do know that we usually need to cut this down. So we're just going to go ahead, jump right ahead and cut this down. So I guess you actually need seven and a half <laughs> ish. Okay. And so there we go. I have mine is cut down. I do like this area. Um, I am going to go ahead and like I said, you want two fabrics. Okay, so this time I'm going to make pockets out of my two fabrics. And so we're going to take the fabric and pull it across. And it's also going to make a pocket on this side. So my fabric um, this piece is, I guess I should tell you, so it's going to be whatever this is, seven and a half fish, and it is going to be by, seven and a quarter, okay, and I am now at, how long is my thing now, seven and a quarter. So basically a square <laughs> okay and I like the frayed edge so I am going to go ahead and rip mine so that I get a straight wow a straight piece <laughs> and um, and I like the frayed edges okay so I get the frayed edges Okay, so that is going to be going to be that. And then I have another piece of fabric and it has the selvage edge right here, which I really like. And um, this one is, and I'm going to leave it as it is. It is two and one, two, two and three eighths. Okay, so two and three eighths. And I'm going to cut it down to be the same size as the other one. Or I'm going to rip it down. <laughs> so it's the same size. Okay, so there's my two pieces of fabric. And then I'm going to go ahead and you know how I am. I love pockets and I cannot lie. So we are going to go ahead and pull out our fabric tack. And um, you can sew this if you would like. You can hand sew it. You can glue it. However you need to do to get your fabric onto your paper. Okay? Your fabric needs to be um, on your paper. Okay? That's... It's not it's not negotiable your fabric needs to be either glued or sewn or something 
on to your file card. You can use a file folder to make your file card. You can use your paper pad or you can use a file card if you have one. I just did that on the wrong side, but that's okay. Okay, I really wanted the M for mom because I'm, I'm doing a mom journal, but you know, sometimes, sometimes I mess up and turn the card over and my M is on the other side. That's okay. That is okay. So I have one big pocket here. I'm going to come over to this side and um, you know what? Let's go ahead and put our glue on our fabric this time. Okay, so here I am going to go ahead and go across the bottom. It doesn't have to go, it can go, you know, sparingly, but this side we need. I'm down to the the very end of this particular bottle. Okay, and across. And we're going to fold this one up. Okay, so I've got a fabric pocket on each side. Now remember, for fabric, you can use um, clothing, you can use remnants of fabric. But you do need two pockets on one side. I mean, the large pocket and a smaller pocket is what we're doing this time. Okay. And then we're going to come back in and we are going to add this pocket. And I'm also going to add... A piece up the center okay and that's gonna give me two smaller pockets <laughs> any day now we might have used every drop of this It knows that I'm, okay, we're going to put this down <laughs> and then we'll come back and add the two sides. I don't want to waste the glue that we did have, that we had for the center. Okay, and it's, okay, there we go. And so let's see, where's my other? Aha, uh -huh. I think we've got some coming out. I should have bought more fabric tack when I was at the store the other day. It's, you know, it's more expensive, but, um, it saves me a lot of time. Okay, so there we go. I have beautiful fabric pockets and I have this going on on that side. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I have some of these, the pink business cards. They have information on the other side. And I'm going to take one of the ready rolls. I have, this is the snippet one. So it's the like three or four inch one. And I'm going to go ahead and glue the card down. You can see I already did that. So I'm just gluing the card down to the Clean up the edges. And this is going to give me a little journaling card. 
remember you need to use these um, your rolls in three different ways so there's one way and now I have a card for here and a card for here okay so I have two little cards yay Okay, so another way that I can, or a way that I can use my ruffle roll is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna cut there. And I'm gonna cut there. And I'm gonna grab my little card here. And I can go ahead and put this on here and I will have a little tab, okay? So ruffle roll tab is my first thing that I'm gonna do. So you're making your card with your fabric, okay? So your large file folder with your fabric, and then you are filling your pockets using your, um, your ruffle roll. And we want to see at least three different ways of using your ruffle roll. Okay. I like that. I'm going to save that for something else. Um, or not your ruffle roll, but we've we've made cards as one way of using one of the rolls. We've added this as a way of using um, one of your ruffle rolls. And I want, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and just rip this blue piece off. I'm going to go ahead and put this as a tab. So fabric. Okay, that gives me fabric tab there. Okay, so I have those two ways of using it so far. And then for this one, let's see if we go ahead and cut it right there. Okay. And this is the snippet. And it could just be, we could just back that and it could be a journal card just like that. Um, or we could put it on, on a card. a book these are glue stick and put it put our snippet roll on here so this is just another way of using your um, your roll okay let me go ahead and
I'm like, I probably should straighten this out. <laughs> Okay, so there, there, and that will give me a large journaling card that will fit right inside here. We have, we have this piece of fabric. Okay, I'm going to see if we can, <laughs> I should have left it turned upside down. Okay, so this is going to give us a card that can go in a large pocket. And again, this is our mini challenge in the challenge. Um, you do not have to use this in your our April journal. It can be for another project, but you do need to use your scrappy rolls. On this, use your scrappy rolls. Okay, there we go. That gives us a nice little piece. I like that. Okay, so um, the other thing is you are to add um, something else from, from your stash. And I think I'm going to use these. Amazing rub-ons from Dollar Tree. Have you gotten a chance to try the rub-ons from Dollar Tree? They are so awesome. Okay, so we've got that down. Oh, I don't know where my popsicle stick is. We'll try the... Clothespin here. Let's take the card out. Uh, and yeah, I'm putting a rub on on fabric. We did this in the bird journal and it has held up really well. So I thought, wow, it's holding up so well. I should do that again. Um, bird journal is available in the Etsy shop. There we go. Okay, so there we have the beautiful perfume there. And then we have over here, we actually have a perfume bottle sticker. I think we'll go ahead and just for fun, we'll add the perfume bottle sticker. Okay, so there's that. And then the other thing is, is this, um, I want to make sure that this stands out from the, so I'm going to go ahead and add a, a tab made from fabric. Okay, so we have our three items. We made a large journaling card. From the snippet roll, we made the tab from the ruffle roll, and we made the cards from the band roll. Okay. Okay, and I just want this. This is going to go behind the M. Okay, 
this so it'll kind of kind of frame the M there. And we'll do the double double stapling so it looks like it's on purpose and as a decoration. Okay, so there's, yeah, I like that. I like that very much. Okay, and so we have room for one more um, tag or something. Our ephemera. Let's see if there's... something in here that would just go help out which one is this ah it's an envelope oh I like that <laughs> okay so here we have one of our envelopes that we made our envelope bases and So that could go in here. Okay, let's make sure that, there we go. Okay, so our little envelope base can go in here. Now, um, might as well go ahead and decorate it with some of the items um, because this is extra, okay? So this is our one, we made the cards, two, the ruffle, three, we have this, and um, I'm going to go ahead and make an envelope for my, that will count towards all the things that I need to make. So let's see, what can I put in on here or in here? Um, ooh, it could have a napkin. I have a napkin. I have, na I have napkin pieces. Ooh, there's a napkin piece. I think this one's really a pretty envelope, actually. If we just put, just like that. Okay, so it's gonna take it a while to dry. But we know where it's going. It's gonna go in that pocket. So this'll give us a napkin, that's one thing. You know what? Let's go ahead and put it down with the glue stick. As long as you are plentiful, it should it should hold it. ahead and rip this where there was no glue <laughs> okay so napkin that takes us that gets us one of our things off of almanac map dictionary or napkins yay um, stamping stenciling distressing well what do you think about stamping A butterfly um, black looks like okay so we'll take and we'll we'll stamp a butterfly right there Okay, so there's our stamping. Woohoo! And it's got two of the things on here. It might be kind of fun. Is a rub on would count as a sticker. Um, there's two two pages of rub ons. 
What about that? This ribbon right here that has the. Yeah, I like that. The ribbon with the heart. Little heart charm. I like that very much. I'm going to put it up. Ooh, kind of like it with the butterfly. Kind of like it over here because the roses are over here. Okay, so we'll just... Yes, I did just clip my hand. <laughs> okay, missing the edge. And the bottom. The good news is you can come back and put the pieces on that didn't that didn't stick. Okay, so there we've got that. I love it. Um, and then we have words, okay? And um, I think charming is is a cool word for this. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and this is also from my paper pad. These words, so. That's kind of cool. Okay, just glue it down right on there. Okay, so I have done one my one envelope for the journal. It is going to be, okay, we're still drying here. We're doing good though. Okay, let's go ahead and clean up the, the edge of the napkin. Okay, so that the purple will dry. And then we still have a place we can put something inside of there. So this is the project right here. You, you have two pieces of fabric. You're making a double pocket on one side and a pocket on the other using your fabric. You're making a um, something, okay? Then the rest, so you have a file card or you're making one that is seven and a half by five. It does need to have a, ta a tab. You can, it can either be there or you can add one. And then you are, um, okay, so your front little pocket is divided, okay? And the big, so you have a big pocket, two little pockets, and a big pocket on this side. Then you are to make three different items. You are to use your um, rolls, your ruffle roll, your snippet roll, and your band roll in three different ways. And what we did is we made cards. Then with the ruffle roll, we added a tab. And yes, you can just copy what I'm doing. That is, that is fine. And um, I did add fabric here. And we have our large tag here. Okay, I added the um, rub on there and then for this side I've also made my envelope, my envelope that will just fit right inside there okay okay so um, we'll go ahead and I'll show you how I am going to put this in my journal and so I have these two pages right here it's a green and this page and I'm gonna go ahead and glue those two pages together and this will fit right inside there okay so that is 
what my plan is. Um, I also think that I can go ahead and rip this across and be much happier with it now that I know what I'm doing with this page. Okay. And look, we have this tab and now we have this tab. I love that. And so let's go ahead and we use this one because it's so thin. It should make it so that we have enough enough room up there for sure. Okay. So this is my um, my journal. I should show it to you. before it gets all the stuff in it, huh? Well, there we go. This is not a big deal because I can take that out. Okay? Okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and push towards the outside with my glue so that hopefully I don't have to cut any more of this off. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to go right in there. And um, so that's what that's why I make those. I like to have a large pocket like that somewhere in the journal. And I like to have, I, I love this. So I think that that's going to be really a lot of fun. Now that is how this will be used in my journal. It'll go in a little further. I just don't want it to get stuck because of the glue. There we go. So that is today's mini challenge in the challenge. This is 4.4. And so the deadline for this one is going to be April 30th. And which is the last day of April. And so this will be the last um, mini challenge in the challenge for the April challenge. So there you go, you're using your your rolls and you're making three, you're using them in three different ways. Okay, so you're making this card using fabric and a file card that you can either already have or make and then you're filling it with three different ways of using your um, your rolls, okay? Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.